Hey, this is Michael De Silvas. I want to tell you a story. Yeah, it's better. About um, this is a short story, but it's a true story, folks. Because this story may happen to your son or daughter when he or she starts school or continues to go to school this fall. One day, this little girl named Katie, we'll call her, went to school at her local elementary school in Tinsdale, Colorado, where she lived. And she went there, and the teacher got all over her because she said the word boy. She said, hey, boy. The teacher heard her said, that's rude. Don't call him a boy. And she said, well, I, well, he is a boy, and I'm a girl. No, you can't say that. Then what are we supposed to say, the girl said, out of started to cry. She said, you're supposed to call them purple penguins. Purple penguins? No, he's not a penguin. He's a boy, and I'm a girl, she exclaimed, with a confused, troubled look on her face. Why are you doing this, teacher? She said, because this is a new way how they want us to teach in your classroom that you are no longer a boy and you're not a girl. He's not a boy and you're not a girl, she exclaimed. She says, if I don't, if I don't do this, I'll be fired. I'll lose my job. So the little girl went home to her mom and dad all upset that afternoon and very troubled. She said, my teacher told me I couldn't call a boy a boy and I could not say that I was a girl in class. At first, the mom and dad just laughed and said, are you serious? And she said, yes, I'm very serious. And she started to cry. She said, well, Katie, we didn't mean to make you cry, sweetie. What's going on? So the parents both sat down at the table and she exclaimed the story. Well, while I was in school, I called my friend a boy, and the teacher never said anything to me before about this ever before, and I wasn't doing anything wrong, but she said not to call him a boy, just to call him a purple penguin, and that I'm a penguin. And I said, well, and I'm like thinking, how could this be? Because I'm a girl, and my friend is a boy, and that's what we really are. She says, no, you can be whatever, and she went on to say, well, you can be whatever you want to be. I said, no. I am a girl, and my friend here, Todd, is a boy. And the teacher was saying that I have to say what the teacher says I am to be. Another thing, later on, the parents had to take her to the doctor. And a weird thing went on there at the doctor's office. While they were at the doctor's office, the physical checkup that girls get once a year and boys, little boys get, went fine. But then he pulled the parents out of the room and told them to sit in the waiting room for a few minutes. Meanwhile, she was back there, thinking she was gonna, she was getting dressed and get ready to leave. And the doctor said, no, stay here for a few minutes. I got some questions I need to ask you. The little girl was a little scared. What kind of questions, doctor? The doctor said, well, have you ever thought about being a boy? And the girl said, being a boy, I'm a girl. She said, well, have you ever had any fantasies about being a boy? She said, no. My parents and God has made me be a girl. She said, well, you can be a boy if you want to. Have you ever thought about wearing jeans or maybe a, you know, or maybe a boy shirt? Or maybe wearing boy underwear? The doctor went on, and the girl was really upset. She came running out of there to the parents and exclaimed to the parents, told them what the doctor said to her. The parents were very irate and angry. Why are you talking to my girl this way? This is not standard protocol. He says, oh, yes, it is. It's all part of the new Obama. It's all part of what's in Obamacare that is just rolling out. We're allowed to ask these questions because this is what they're telling us to do. If we don't ask these questions, we could lose our license as being a medical practicing doctor. That's what the doctor told, went on to tell the parents and the 
little girl was there, confused. Lots of girls and boys will be confused because that's what they're trying to push. They're trying to push gay agenda, trying to break up the family, and trying to just get it all up in your son or daughter's face. That they could be gay, they could be transgender, that means they could be an opposite sex one day and another next, or maybe a dog or maybe anything they want to be. That's why Facebook came out with 50-some different sexual terminologies just so that it would confuse people all the more. With all this brainwashing that they're doing in the schools, in all the news, and even in your church, in some churches, they're doing this too. It's not right or moral to be something that you're not. Nobody should ever force anything on you. If you're a boy, you're a boy. If you're a girl, you're a girl. Because you can't be anything else except what God made you. Now, transgender is just where somebody wants to be another sex or be something else other than what they were really created to be. If you're born with boy genital parts, then you're a boy. Even if you look a little more like a girl, you're still a boy. If you're made with girl anatomy or genital parts, then you are a girl by definition. You know, what I'm saying is not inappropriate for kids because you are what God made you. Not something that a teacher or a doctor asks you questions after you get checked from your doctor. Ask you questions if you have a little boy and he goes in there to the doctor and the doctor says, for the parents to leave and says, have you ever thought about wearing a dress? Do you ever want to be a girl? Or asking the same questions to a girl, have you ever thought about being a boy and wearing underwear, boxers like boys? Or wearing t-shirts like boys and not bras? And wearing, you know, jeans instead of a skirt or shorts? Or maybe wearing a suit like a boy wears? I mean, this is really happening in a lot of places, parents, as well as children. And these are things you really need to know. And this is what really scares me. Very much. Because it's happening all, all over the country and around the world. They're trying to confuse you with a different identity than what you really are. And that way you really need to know. That if you have boy parts, you're a boy. If you have girl parts, you're a girl. And what I mean is by the way you look. Not the way you might want to be. But if you are a girl, really, that's what you really are. Because that's the way God made you to be. If you're a boy, that's what God made you to be. Even though you may look a little more female in some other areas, because some boys do. Some girls look more ma manly, but they're not a boy. And I just want to explain that, because transgender didn't just come along until the last 20 years. There were never transgenders back in the days of Jesus. However, there was always homosexuality and lesbianism, or lesbian, you know, or gay, which was really gay practices going on even in his day. That's why Jesus spoke out against it. Jesus was always talking to those people in hopes that they would come and realize the error of their way and overcome it and become a Christian and put away and stop that gay lifestyle. And those really, those things really did happen. And they still continue to happen. People were not born to be this way. No, they choose to be this way. That's the whole brainwashing thing that's going on now in schools and hospitals and it, it's coming to your school and your hospital near you. So just be aware, parents. This is Michael De Silva's for InfoWars, a story that really has a true meaning that is going to happen in your community very soon if it hasn't already. Try to take it back. Fight on, stay on the moral ground, and don't cower, and don't be in fear. Talk to legislation if it's happening in your town to stop this mayhem of craziness of where they want to try to confuse the sexuality of all children and try to pervert the classroom where they're teaching them about inappropriate things that should never be taught to children in fourth and fifth grade or even in the second or third grade. And, you know, <clears throat> I can say, kids, if you are being taught something weird in school and you know it's not right, 
you need to tell your parents, even if the teachers tell you not to. If they tell you not to, then you know they're doing something wrong to you. Like I said, this is Michael DeSilva's with InfoWars, a news update. This is really true stuff. It sounds crazy, but it's really happening, folks. I'll see you later. Have a good day. A story with a real true message of really what's going on in this country. Bye for now.